What are the domains covered in a digital brand audit? A digital brand audit takes into consideration several parameters like user journey, website, SEO audit, informational keywords, navigational keywords, transactional keywords, content audit, strategy and flow, UX UI audit, mobile application, UX UI audit, social media audit, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and many more. Competition analysis. Your website is analyzed from the point of view of SEA, traffic analytics, user journey and flow, user experience principles, content strategy, and content hygiene. The audit takes into consideration elements as minute as readability of your content. You'll get to know the basic math regarding shareability of content, source of traffic, mobile desktop, source of traffic, search engine, organic, social media, stickiness of every web page, potential of every page for lead capturing in exchange for gratification, video views, page views, number of downloads, session time, bounce rate and a lot more. While your backend or IT team can get you the above information, a proper audit can tell you how to enhance your goals. You may already have the data around the number of times your content has been downloaded but people who have the expertise in brand auditing can tell you about other metrics like trackability of video content or downloaded PDFs. Apart from the math, a digital brand audit can get you insights into how the user discovers you, what he expects from you, what he finds in your content, how he leaves, delighted disappointed, as new social media networks come up, the domains of audit keep expanding. Your social media accounts play a crucial role in driving traffic to your website. The audit captures all possible gaps in the consistency of your brand communication through questions as diverse as Why are you on LinkedIn but not on Facebook? Are you posting natively on each platform? Or are you posting the same content everywhere? Why are you focusing on a platform while your target audience is clearly concentrated on another? Do the images you post across all the platforms show consistency? Users will not know where to place your brand if you don't follow homogeneity in your presentation. A digital brand audit can point out such leakages in your digital footprints. If the scope of the audit is far huger, it can also include several physical offline assets too like pop displays or other kinds of signage. It is not unusual for a digital brand audit to refer to more than 1,000 customer touch points. When should you get a digital brand audit done? You need a digital brand audit in several scenarios. Some of these are, you want to scale your business. You want to go public by offering an IPO. You are facing fierce competition from other brands. You are not seeing ROI from your branding efforts. Your sales volume has gone down. The reputation of your brand has been impacted negatively. You want to launch another category subcategory under that brand. You want to sell your brand. You want to buy a brand. Your shareholder needs to know if your entire company is getting affected because of one of your brands. You are moving from traditional to the new age digital marketing. You are now willing to hire a brand communication corporate head or an entire team to look after your brand. You want to know the implications of goodwill and shareholder value vis a grave vis one of your brands. You want to launch your brand in another region country. You want to change your business stance or reposition your brand for another target audience. You want to understand what kind of impact a change in logo can have on your brand. You want to get your brand valuation done. In short, you need a digital brand audit in every situation that requires concrete numbers. How often should you get a digital brand audit done? Coming in next episode.